All right, so what we have here in this problem is an isosceles triangle, and it is given that it has congruent sides of 10 centimeters. So let's go ahead and label this side 10 and this side 10. And it is also given that the base is 12 centimeters. So this would be the base length right here, slightly longer than each of these two congruent sides right here. And we have to use this information to figure out the area of the triangle. Now remember to find the area of any triangle. We simply take the base of the triangle, multiply by its height, and then divide that product by two. Now the base of the triangle is given, it is 12, but the height of this triangle is not given. We have to use this information to figure out what this height is. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see that this height right here divides this isosceles triangle in half. We have two congruent right triangles. So if we just take a look at this triangle right here, we can see that the height of this triangle and half of this base form the two legs of our right triangle. So what we need to do is figure out what is the distance from here to here, and then we can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what this unknown height is. Now because this triangle is divided perfectly into two equal parts, we know that we can take 12 and divide that by two, which is six. So the distance from this point to this point is six centimeters, as is the distance from this point to this point. But all we really have to do is take a look at one of these two triangles. So what we're gonna do is take advantage of the Pythagorean theorem, which says that squaring the two legs is equivalent to the square of the hypotenuse. So we see that we have one given leg right here, that is six, so we're gonna plug that in for A and square it. We don't know the second leg, so we're gonna leave B as a variable for now. And then we're going to plug 10 into C because that is our hypotenuse. All right, so what we have to do now is solve for the length of B, and that will tell us what the height is. And once we have the height, we can plug it into our formula right here to figure out the area of our triangle. So let's take six and square that. That's gonna be 36 plus B squared equals 10 squared, which is 100. Then we're gonna take this positive 36 and move it to the other side of our equation. So we're gonna subtract 36 from 100 and that ends up giving us 64. And now we have just B squared remaining. Now B is not by itself yet. We have to remove the exponent of two and the opposite of squaring something is to square root something. So if we put a square root symbol over this, the exponent of two and the radical symbol will cancel each other out, leaving us with B. And to balance our equation, we take the square root of 64, which is equal to eight. So now we know that the length of this height is eight centimeters. So now what we can do is go over here to our area formula and we can plug in the length of the original base of the entire triangle, which is 12. Multiply that by our height, which we just determined is eight, and then divide that by two. So what we can do now is we can take 12 times eight, which is 96, and divide that into two parts and that would give us 48 square centimeters. So what we had to do to find the area of this triangle is we had to take advantage of the Pythagorean theorem to figure out the unknown height of this triangle. And once we determine what that height is, we plugged it into our area formula and solved. Hey, I just wanna say thanks for checking out this math tutorial. Please don't forget to hit that subscription button and enable notifications so you can be informed as I upload new math tutorials to my math channel. Until next time, this is Shane Masonette with Masonette Math.